times an hour rolls over this earth, it shall bring truth. Judgment. Another symbiote? Sorry to interrupt the reunion, we but... We hoped we'd run into you again. You know me? Cassidy! Think of the damage we can do now, man! <laughs> I think we can all agree that the flame is most certainly going to be a massive problem the next time we see him in Insomniac Spider-Man universe. And I, for one, cannot wait. But regardless, welcome back, true believers, and all you spectacular Spidey fans to another very intriguing and possibly disappointing Marvel Spider-Man 2 related video. Now, as I wholeheartedly know, every single one of you have been clamoring for ever since the initial release of Marvel Spider-Man 2 back in October of 2023 is that all of us Marvel Spider-Man 2 fans out there still want to know is whether or not the game will be receiving any type of story DLC down the line as well as when exactly this DLC could release but in actuality is that this game has already technically received full-on DLC post launch where in this case we did receive the massive new game plus update for Marvel Spider-Man Man 2 back in March, and the only officially planned DLC that was stated from Insomniac that we would be getting was none other than the Free Kids Super Collab suits that launched back in June. And as it currently stands, we haven't yet received any other official word from Insomniac Games as to whether or not any type of story DLC will be added into the game in the coming months. That is until now. So if you're excited to dive into all this Marvel Spider-Man 2 news with me, then definitely be sure to thwit that like button and subscribe to the channel for even more Marvel Spider-Man 2 and other Marvel games videos down the line. Now funnily enough is that these online statements from Insomniac did release on their social media quite a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, I was merely too busy within my personal life to cover it on the channel the moment that they were posted. But regardless, it's better late than never. Where to kick things off where all this news started is that we do have a post from Insomniac all the way back in May, which was pretty much a celebratory post of the company celebrating their overall 30 year anniversary. And in this case, they went on to share a post pertaining to one of their previous games of Resistance Fall of Man, where a user by the name of Fox Engine went on to reply to Insomniac underneath this post by stating, can y'all port these PS3 games to PC and PS5? Please. Where Insomniac games themselves straight up replied by stating, it would be dope, but we're currently all hands on deck for Marvel's Wolverine. And to completely double down on that statement, we do have another post from Insomniac in June celebrating one of their previous game releases of Sunset Overdrive, where another online user of Avishay Afraid went on to ask Insomniac directly, why don't you make a Sunset Overdrive port or remaster for PS4 or PS5? Where again, Insomniac Games went on to reply, we're busy with Marvel's Wolverine. So yeah, everybody, in case you somehow forgot, is that alongside of Insomniac fully working on Marvel Spider-Man 2, they were also simultaneously working on the overall production of their next upcoming AAA Marvel game with that of Wolverine PS5. And that presumably, ever since Insomniac fully released Marvel Spider-Man 2, as well as its following updates, they've more than likely been working completely heads down on Marvel's Wolverine to make sure that they're giving it the absolute best treatment possible. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go. Where given the game's current state of production, as well as the recent release of Marvel's Spider-Man 2, I still think that Marvel's Wolverine is quite a ways away and may not end up releasing either sometime later on next year at the earliest or possibly 2026 at the latest. So while these statements from Insomniac might set in stone the conclusion of Marvel's Spider-Man 2, and any other possible content that might be added into the game in the future, I personally think that they are telling the truth 
but not exactly the full truth. Where for starters, while we know Insomniac is currently all in on working on Marvel's Wolverine, we also know that they're more than likely in the extremely early phases of production for Marvel's Spider-Man 3, where that game will more than likely not be releasing for quite some time. But more importantly is that no matter what you might have seen or heard from any potential leaks from Insomniac given the absolutely atrocious hacking attack that they experienced late last year, absolutely nothing from any of that leaked data is confirmed in any way, shape, or form unless Insomniac says otherwise, especially considering how much the overall trajectory and production status can change within a AAA game studio. So if you're someone who's banking on the notion that we will more than likely end up receiving DLC for Marvel Spider-Man 2 sometime down the line simply because you saw a leak, I would simply be taking that with a grain of salt until Insomniac comes out and confirms it themselves. But on the flip side is that there's another massive factor pertaining to this possible Marvel Spider-Man 2 DLC. DLC that a lot of people have either completely ignored or simply forgot. And for all you diehard PlayStation fans out there, we're obviously talking about the potential and more than likely PlayStation Showcase, which may end up occurring sometime later this year in the fall. Which will not only be the massive PlayStation event which we've all been waiting for, but it could also be the event in which we could finally see the official reveal of the highly rumored PlayStation 5 Pro, as well as all the other upcoming PlayStation 5 games that will be enhanced on the possible Pro console. For example, I not only think that showcasing a game like Marvel's Wolverine during this PlayStation Showcase would be a great marketing move, but showcase it running in real time on the best hardware possible of the PS5 Pro. Which is also where people have highly speculated that other massive AAA first party games could be revealed. With that of the likes of Ghost of Tsushima 2, whatever Naughty Dog is working on, and primarily, whether or not we could see any type of story DLC be unveiled for Marvel Spider-Man 2, where once again, if we are to receive any type of story DLC for Marvel Spider-Man 2, the biggest reason why I think it's taking this long is because I don't think that this is going to be a standard DLC release in chapters like what we previously saw with The City That Never Sleeps, but rather, I could very well see this possible DLC taking the form of a bigger expansion like what we have previously saw in other major PlayStation first-party games, and how each of these games took their time time to release the DLC in order to make it the best it could possibly be. For instance, we have seen this exact same pattern occur for some extremely popular PlayStation game franchises. The main one that I keep bringing up is that of Horizon Forbidden West and the massive expansion that followed that game with Burning Shores, as well as with God of War Ragnarok, and the massive free story expansion that followed that game nearly a year later with Valhalla, and more importantly is the biggest example yet with that of Ghost of Tsushima, where that full game released all the way back in July of 2020, and it wasn't until a year and a month later that we got the official story expansion pack as well as the PS5 director's cut with the Iki Island Story DLC. So to clarify for all of you who seemingly want Insomniac to rush out any type of story DLC for Marvel Spider-Man 2, that is absolutely not going to happen, and if we are to receive any story DLC for the game, it seems like that this is merely par for the course based on all the other previous PlayStation first party game releases. In the meantime, and I can't express this clearly enough, just calm down. Stop it. Get some help. If we are to actually see any type of story DLC for Marvel Spider-Man 2 be unveiled, it will more than likely be within a PlayStation Showcase, which will occur later on this fall. And if we're not going to receive any story DLC, then rest assured that Insomniac is heads down working hard on their next major AAA project with Marvel's Wolverine, as well as any other type of AAA game that they may or may not be working on down the line. And whatever those projects may end up being, one thing is known for certain. In Insomniac, we trust. But with all that said, everybody, that's the video I have for all you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. What do you think about this Marvel Spider-Man 2 DLC update? And given the current state of Insomniac games, 
Would you or would you not want Marvel's Spider-Man 2 to actually receive DLC, or would you rather want them to fully focus on their next major game? Let me know what you think, be sure to leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy, and for more Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos like this in the future. Thank you all so much for watching, stay spectacular Spidey fans, and until next time, peace out. <laughs>